three things on the Jameis Winston situation. One, Jameis Winston should not lose his job, get cut or fired because of the touchdown scored at the end of the Atlanta Falcons New Orleans Saints game. Two, if getting Jamal Williams a touchdown at the end of the game is wrong, nobody in that Saints locker room wanted Jameis Winston to be right. Look at the reaction of the guys on the sideline when Jamal Williams comes off the field. They're hugging him. They're elated. They're all excited for him because he is a true glue guy in that locker room. He had 17 touchdowns last year. This year, zero until that play. So if the team, the players, the offensive line made a decision in their mind that, hey, we're going to do this for our guy and we're going to fake the victory and hand it off to him for a touchdown, I don't have a problem with it. And you know what? The guys in that locker room absolutely love Jameis Winston for being willing to take the bullet in that situation. And number three, guys, Arthur Smith was getting fired regardless. When they scored that touchdown at the end of the game, it didn't matter. He was gone. So Jameis Winston didn't get him fired. Jameis Winston proved that he should probably be voted captain. You know what I'm saying? Him and Derek Carr are going to have C on their chest next year because everyone in that locker room loves him for not being afraid to do what the team wanted to do. Now, was he wrong for overriding his head coach, Dennis Allen? 100% he was wrong for doing that. You can't override your head coach. But, but, he already apologized for that. And the rest of the locker room is going to back him till kingdom come. Because like I told you guys, If getting your guy a touchdown at the end of the game, his first of the season, is wrong, nobody in that locker room wanted Jameis Winston to be right in that situation.